Okay, here we go. This is probably the last video we're going to have to do um, for this renaming tracks without the mouse. Uh, this is a video that's redoing the one for OS X. Uh, after setting up the rename for the Windows setup, where you can pretty much do it with, completely without the mouse, <coughs> Excuse me. I decided to go back and try to figure out how to get this accomplished um, fully on the OS X side. And luckily I was able to do it, and it wasn't as complicated as I originally thought it was going to be. So, uh, let's get into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is download the two files that I placed inside of the forum post, um, which includes an npchelperfiles.zip file. Um, there's a link that you can download the files. And then you want to also still go to, if you haven't done it already, go to the website for the um, Better Touch tool application that was used previously Let's see if I can get to that I don't want to go there which is at the link that's inside of the forum post it should take you to this website and you want to download better touch tool as I said the link is inside the forum post okay once you download the MPC helper files.zip file from the link that's in the forum post. You want to extract the files, which will include a file named CLI click, as in click click, and then there is three script files: rename MPC sequence, rename MPC program, and rename MPC track. You want to copy the CLI click file to the application folder underneath of your home drive. So see here is my home drive, here's the application folder, and this is where I stored the CLI click application. Alright? You want to take the three script files and you can store them anywhere on your hard drive. Preferably put it in your documents folder. That's kind of like what I did. I put it underneath of MPC helper files under my documents and that's all you're really going to need to do <clears throat> to get the files installed. The next thing you want to do is right click on one of the files, click on open with, and you want to open it with the Apple Script Editor. Once the editor opens up, the code is already in there. You don't have to <clears throat> change the code at all. The only thing you're going to have to do is update the coordinates, just like we did in the Windows video and in the last OS 10 video, but this one is a little bit different. So the only thing you're going to need to do with this one is update the coordinates. So to do that, you're going to open up your MPC software. We'll wait for that to open. And then, just like in the other videos, you're going to place your mouse over the track field. This time, however, OS 10 has a built-in application that's going to allow you to get the mouse coordinates. All you have to do is press down Command, Shift, and the number 4. At that point, your cursor will turn into a little crosshair that has the coordinates in it. And if you can read those, it's not showing up good on the camera. Let's zoom in a little bit. If you can read those, that says 851 and 812. So then, you're just going to click again to get rid of that cursor come back into your script and then place those numbers right inside your script right there after you do that you want to click on file and save to save your script and then you're done close that one out and then you pretty much will just move on to the next file so let's close out that one then we go and do our sequence script. Right click, open with Apple Script Editor. Check out the coordinates. Go into the MPC software. Place our mouse over the sequence field and do the exact same thing. You want to press Command, Shift, and the number four. Get your coordinates. 
This one is reading 847, 670. You want to go back to your script and then enter the coordinates in your script. Do a file save, close that one out. And then lastly, you're going to do the exact same thing. For the program files, right click, open with Apple Script Editor, get your coordinates, open up the MPC software, place your mouse, if I can find it, over the program field, you switch hands, Shift Command, F4, get your coordinates, there's 906.883. And then you want to enter that into your script. And then you want to click File Save. Close out your script. Minimize the Apple Script Editor. Then <clears throat> you want to use the Better Touch tool. And I didn't say it in the beginning of, of the video. I thought I did. But once you download that, extract the files, you want to install the Better Touch tool. So if you didn't haven't done that, do that now. It's a quick install. Once you have it installed, you want to launch the Better Touch tool. And all you're going to basically do is set up <clears throat> your keyboard shortcuts. Now what I did was set this up for a global shortcut. I clicked on global, clicked on keyboard, and then came down here to the bottom and chose the shortcut that I wanted to use. I clicked on that and then you punch and hit the key of the key of the shortcut that you want to use. And for that one I hit F16 and I don't know if it's going to do it right now. And then I came over to the right side and clicked on trigger predefined action. I hit this drop down, I went to controlling other applications, and then clicked on open application file slash Apple script. It's going to open up your file dialog. You want to click on your documents and find the location where you stored your scripts, and then choose rename MPC track since this is the first one that we're going to do. Okay, I've already done that, so I'm not going to click it here. I'm going to hit cancel on that, and at that point, you have that one mapped. Then you would come down, <clears throat> and I didn't say it the first time. The first thing you want to do is click on Add New Shortcut. So you click on Add New Shortcut. It'll give you another line item here. You come down to the bottom. Click on this field. Punch the key for your shortcut. Come to Trigger Predefined Action. Hit the drop down. Go to Controlling Other Applications and click on Open Application File Apple Script. And then choose the location this is in my documents MPC helper files then you want to choose the location of your script or choose the script actually so this one we're going to be doing rename MPC sequence I'd select that I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and then I hit cancel or save for you and then we do it one more time for and <clears throat> point to the rename MPC program script when you set these up, these are automatically going to be turned on by default, but you can disable them just by unchecking the box if you wanted to, but it's up to you. Anyway, the ones I originally did <clears throat> were under the global setting, which means these will apply throughout the entire computer, whether at the MPC application is running or not. You can actually <clears throat> set this up to only work when the MPC software is working. To do that, you would basically come down to this little drop down where it says specific or app specific. Hit the drop down and oops, I'm sorry, wrong, wrong place. You would hit this plus and then choose the application that you want to map it to. I previously selected the uh, MPC software and that's how that, that got there. Once that's there, you can do the exact same thing as you did in global. Choose your shortcuts, point to the script files that you want to use and they'll automatically be enabled. So whenever the MPC software runs, these shortcuts, which is Control Z, Control X, and Control C, will be active when the MPC software is running. These that I originally did, F16, 17, and 18, are active no matter what, <clears throat> whether the software is um, running or not. Uh, the reason why I did it globally is because doing it globally and assigning it to these function keys will allow me to make the MPC software get focus 
So if I have a plug-in window over, open and I hit these, it'll put the MPC software back on the top by doing it globally. By doing it specifically on the application, something in the script, uh, it's only going to really apply while the MPC software has focus because it's tied specifically to that application. So if I have another window open, the other window is not going to um, respond to these shortcuts. So I did them in both locations, so I have the flexibility. If I have another window open, then I'll probably try to use these. If I'm directly in the MPC software, I'll probably use these. I'll probably swap these around so that uh, <clears throat> I have something that's a little quicker to reach while I'm typing. But that's the basic gist. So once you have that done, you can pretty much close out that window for that software. We can go back into the MPC software. And one little problem that I'm having with this, and it's, I don't know what the deal is with the MPC software, is that it jumps around the window position tends to jump around in between opening it a lot of times. I don't know what that's about, but sometimes it'll do it. <clears throat> so just be uh, knowledgeable of that because that will throw your coordinates off and sometimes it'll make the script act a little wonky. So just, just to be safe, make sure you maximize the uh, MPC window, obviously with the little green click, the little green button. Sometimes when you close it and open it back up, it's not going to open up in maximized um, mode, or it's going to be fully ma it's not going to be fully maximized. So before you get started, just make sure you maximize your window. So here we go, last demo. Here we go. <clears throat> Have my sequence, and the screenshot is going to be a little bit crappy today because I think I've uh, let me tilt that. All right. So I want to rename my track. Rename the track. I want to rename my sequence. Just rename my sequence. I want to rename my program. Just rename my program. Did not touch the mouse, just like the other ones. I did not have to go back into the software to reposition. So this is functioning very similar to the solution that we had for the Windows one. So if it works for you, use it. If it doesn't, move on. Um, as I said, I like it. It works for me. So do what you do. Peace.